Joining us today from CERTATEC, a UK-based Adobe Authorized Training Center, is John Pizant. John is an AUC expert in ACE. He's also the Joining us today from CERTATEC, a UK-based Adobe Authorized Training Center, is John Pizant. John is an AUC expert in ACE. He's also the Chief Technical Consultant and Owner of CERTATEC, which specializes in Adobe Acrobat, PDFX, and Focus Products and PDF Workflows along with other Adobe Creative Suite products. Thanks for joining us today, John. Thank you, Laurie. Thank you. Hello, everyone. It's John Besson here from, uh, from Surrey Tech. Um, OK, I'm just going to kick off by um, going through some, I think, quite interesting areas. I'm going to go through configuration first, configure an Acrobat in a certain way um, so that we can uh, basically believe what we see on screen. I think a lot of the time, um, people are somehow let's say, not fooled, but they think what they see on screen is exactly how the file is going to print. Okay. So I just want to sort of go ahead and show you a couple of options that might be worth uh, switching on uh, or switching off in Acrobat. Some of these are also available in the reader as well. Okay. So I'm using Acrobat Pro today. Um, some of these functions are available in the standard as well, uh, but majority of them, because they're print production based, um, are available in the Pro. So I'm just going to kick off here and just show you a couple of files I've got here. Let's call it a normal PDF file, OK? Um, one thing that's been in Acrobat since version uh, 6, OK, is the ability to show trim lines, OK, trim and bleed. Now, this document here has got the printer marks on it, color bars, registration marks, etc. Now, it's quite hard to see exactly where that does bleed, and especially to the sort of untrained eye, then it becomes a bit of an issue. So what I can do in Acrobat is I can go to the uh, Preferences area. So that's Command or Control K. So if I use keyboard shortcuts today, that's probably easier. Um, I can go to the page display option in there. And one thing you might see, which is down towards the, the bottom of the screen, is the show art trim and bleed box. Now, this is available in the Pro, but also available in Reader and the Standard as well. As soon as I turn that one on, click OK, you should see now I've got a green box going around that artwork. If I just zoom in there, you should see I've got a green line going around that. I've got a blue bleed box as well. OK, so I can just click on that preference. I can switch it on. It's on forever. And you can see at that stage, from that point onwards, exactly what files um, I've got trim and bleed box, what we call page geometry built into them. OK, uh, so that's one way to turn it on inside your preferences. Another option which sometimes does confuse users, and this is new to version 9, is this PDF file here. OK, if I just. I need to do one little thing here. I might have actually, yeah, bear with me one second. A myriad of preferences. OK, what we've got here is if I try to use a selection tool to highlight this text, you'll see I can't. The reason for that is that I've got that as outline text, OK? So if I come down towards the bottom end and just select that, you can see I can highlight that because uh, that is full editable text here. But this text here, which is no longer text, is effectively uh, sort of outlined line art. OK, so the issue is that I've got my little L's, and they look slightly beefier uh, in this version of, uh, of this file, because they're outlined. And Acrobat displays them in, in a different way. OK, you can see here I've got the L okay, of reusable. You can see the glyph itself is, uh, is thicker. All right, so all I need to do once again is go back into my preferences there. I need basically to toggle off the Enhanced Thin Lines option. If I just turn that off, this is only available in Acrobat 9, hit OK to that, you should see immediately that those slightly beefened up lines, they've actually vanished now. So I've got glyphs or characters that look exactly the same thickness as what they would have done as, uh, as normal text. So let me just go back into that again. The option was the toggle of the, the smooth images. Oh, sorry, my fault, Enhanced Thin Lines, sorry. So I just turned that off. It's on by default. I turn it off. I hit OK to that. And I've got my text that looks uh, pretty much back to normal. So that, that, can, that can help a lot of workflows where people are actually asking people, you know, is that going to print like that? And people are slightly worried uh, a proofing stage that, uh, you know, their file is not going to print as they wanted to. OK, so that's a little preference in Reader and in Acrobat as well inside the page display. Next one coming up. is the ability to edit text. 
Okay, so these are not pre-pressed, pre-pressed ones, but these are ones that will help everyone. If they don't uh, help you because you already know them, then you might find that your customers, if they don't know how to do this themselves, then it's going to help them along. Now, the issue in the past is if I go to my advanced editing toolbar, and I just go to my touch-up text tool in there. Okay, oh, bear in mind, you've got to have the exact name of the font, the same font that you're trying to edit in the PDF file um, located inside your, uh, inside your system. So you've got to have the same font, okay, to be able to do this. So if I try and change this here, and this is just gobbledygook, okay, this is just dummy text, I just type in a couple more words, okay. You can see the actual text frame expands across to the right-hand side. Um, and what I'm after, really, is for that text to be able to reflow and word wrap uh, within that, with inside that actual text frame. So what I can do here is I'll just undo that. Okay, go back to what I was before. Using the same touch-up text tool, if I just make a preference change again, but this time inside the category called touch-up. And don't forget, this is the area where you can set up your Photoshop as your image editing and also your Illustrator for object or vector-based editing, okay? This is where you can set up your editing applications if you use the touch-up object tool. So don't forget, using the pencil tool, <clears throat> that enables you to right-click um, or alt-double-click on an image or alt-double-click on a, on a vector object, and it launches the respective image or vector-based uh, um, imaging application, okay? Now, the thing I'm looking at here is the text block word wrapping during editing option. Of a uh, bit of a mouthful there. Um, I've got the option for enable text word wrapping. Now that's off by default. Okay, if I just turn that on, I change the behavior.